My worth is what I can bring to the world, the love that I can bring, the tenderness that I can bring, the compassion that I can bring, the wisdom that I can bring, the truth that I can bring, the love that I can bring is what I am worth. And each and every one of us, man, woman alike, we all have that in us. And we can see that that is the medicine. That is the medicine that the world needs right now for the great mother to fully emerge through us and as us, for us to take a look at the ways in which we might be imbalanced because we're each unique. We each have this, this unique combination of divine feminine and divine masculine. And because each of us have a unique role to play in this great awakening, in this bringing the world back to balance, Know that your authentic self is your perfect self. Be that. Let go of those cultural things that might be still there. It is up to each of us to take a look at that. I looked at this as I was preparing for this talk. I looked at how, how those ideas of femininity, those essences of the divine feminine that I am either expressing or not, how much I've changed since my own spiritual awakening. Wow, talk about an eye opener. Just looking back and saying, wow, how much more the great mother is expressing through me and as me since I, I woke up and since, and, and it keeps increasing. And it's not coming through as the social idea of femininity is coming through as a power, the power of love, the power of forgiveness. It's coming through as self-care, beauty, peace, those are the gifts of spirit. That is the matrix of the great mother. And when we allow that to actually come through us, express as us, when we hold that space for each other, you can feel it expanding in our world. Am I right about that? Can you feel that happening? It's feeling, it's, it's happening in this body of people. And so I think the big thing is like, as we're talking about this, I mean, you can sense how crucial this is, how important it is that we surrender to what wants to come through us. We can feel how important it is for us to be our authentic selves, to be the gift we've come here to be fully as we watch what's happening in our world. It is only those gifts of spirit that we have access to, that we know in ourselves, that are gonna help to shift things. But I think we have to take a look at where we're at right now individually. It's like, what else wants to be let go of? What else wants to be expressed? What wants to move up into a higher range of expression? And we have to look. And so that was really interesting for me to look at where I am, to look in my family, where they are, how we've grown, and where we're still stuck, where they're still as in, in that feminine, uh, as being a woman, the sense of victimhood, powerlessness, believing that Maybe you have to have a man in order to survive in this world. That's still happening in my family. I don't know how that's working in, in yours, but it's like, it's our job to speak to that, to see where it might be in us. So it's like, do we have the power to support ourselves, to move in the world in a powerful way? Are we dependent on someone or something outside of ourselves? It's time to go. That has to go. It has to be gone. to look at our unconscious behavior, 
the things that uphold separation. And I want to speak briefly on this as I was thinking about this and really meditating on it. One more thing I want to bring into this is sisterhood. I know that that is part of the equation here. And to look in our own lives of like, where are we creating that? Or where are we, you know, like keeping it at bay? It is so, I get heart-wrenching for me to see women pitted against each other out of some sense of um, competition. It hurts my heart to see uh, any of my sisters stuck in those old paradigms. It hurts my heart to see that because I see who they are and I want to call it forth. And it's like, there's something powerful and beautiful and uh, amazing that happens when women come together in a sisterhood. Have you, any of you ever had the thought that Women could change the world? Did you ever have that thought? As you see the distorted um, energies of the masculine wreaking havoc. That's not the divine masculine we're talking about here. That's distorted masculine patterns. But did you ever think that we could have a significant impact on changing the world. We do, and it's happened. You see more and more women come rising into leadership and rising into these areas where they have influence. And right here, right now, each of us have that power. We are changing the world. And thank you to the beautiful men on this screen right now who are in touch with that part of themselves that you know how to love and you know how to hold safe what is sacred, thank you. This is a great call and we are here for this and I'm just so grateful to be doing this with all of you. Let there be more sisterhood amongst us. Let there be less and less of those old patterns that do not serve us standing in the glory and the power and the beauty of who and what we are. That call to action for each of us, I think, is to open. Let us open to that spirit of the Great Mother more deeply. This is our call. Let that extend, let that divine mother matrix extend into our world through us. <laughs>